Good morning. May the dear Lord be blessed as we begin now the Advent season of looking forward to the coming of the Lord. Uh, once again, uh, looking to Christmas, but looking beyond Christmas to the day we go to the Lord. We begin with the uh, uh, first Sunday of Advent in the New Cycle C with the first reading from Jeremiah chapter 33, verses 14 to 16. The days are coming, says the Lord. In that time I will raise up for David a just shoot. He shall do what is right and just in the land. Advent is, is time to look forward to the coming of the Messiah as the loving Savior of our lives. Psalm 25 says, Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are, you are God my Savior, and for and for you I wait all the day. The third reading, Luke chapter 21, verses 25 to 28, and then 34 to 36. Jesus said to his disciples, There will be signs. People will die. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Jesus is saying that we should, we should not live each day as though life is just a daily routine with little or no thought that each day is a step on the way to eternity. Live life now as a part of eternity. Each moment walk, breathe, think, and take each heartbeat in union with the Lord now. Live with the Lord now, with the Lord as the heart of our daily life. Walk daily with Jesus to his judgment seat, and we will have nothing to fear when we stand before him in judgment. In our second reading, 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 12 to chapter 4, verse 2, Paul is writing to the Thessalonians for them to let the Lord make them increase and abound in love for one another and for all, so that they may be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with his holy ones. Advent is the time to prepare ourselves to receive the Lord by conducting our, ourselves to please God. It is human nature to want to please one another so that they in turn are nice to us. Advent is the time to think first and foremost of pleasing God. <laughs> 